Hi everyone Hi. and welcome to another Glasley review. So recently we purchased the new Witches film that came out this year 2020 on Amazon Prime and this is our review for it. Yes it follows similar beats to the book by Roald Dahl and the movie that came out in the 90s where basically a, a boy and his grandmother follow a plot made by the Grand High Witch to turn all the children in the world to mice and get rid of them entirely. So, yeah, I definitely think we've got a lot to talk about with this one. Absolutely. So, this movie was directed by the great Robert Zemeckis, who has done some fantastic films in the past, including Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, just to name a few. And what I like straight away from this movie is it didn't remind me of the one from the 90s at all. Um, normally, with some recent remakes, um, they always do winks and nods, which I think can sometimes be damaging to the remake that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So, I'm glad seeing this through a fresh pair of eyes that we didn't get this yeah i definitely agree i think this was just on itself its own film mm. and i feel like as well that anne hathaway was her own grand high witch because i know that she didn't want to be compared to angelica um houston who did an absolute amazing job in the 90s of being a grand high witch um but yeah i just thought her performance was absolutely amazing Anne was just so you know really going for it and i know you know from interviews and things that she really loved the performance that she did and yeah i just thought it was a perfect role for her to play yeah I couldn't put it better than myself props to jalzia bruno as well as our hero um i thought he did a really good job you know obviously there's quite a lot of voice work going on in there as well as acting and i thought he did a great job as well as octavia spencer and stanley tucci they didn't really have much to do but what they did bring to the role was was fun yeah, this movie really surprised me in terms of this was a lot darker mm. than what I thought it was going to be. Some of the visuals was just like so scary. And like when Anne Hathaway was revealing herself as the Grand High Witch, you know, she takes her gloves off and her shoes. I was so scared and apprehensive. I was like, what is this going to look like? I was yeah. just so nervous. There's some certainly some creepy moments in this film. Like you were saying earlier about the visuals, there's definitely some stuff which I think younger children are going to be frightened of. I think it is going to actually scare younger kids. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with the uh, uh, mouth opening up wide, uh, just the, the reveal of the hands and the feet. Yeah, really creepy. And also we get more of a, a darker sort of extension to uh, how uh, the kids' parents died as well and sort of the trauma of getting over that. Yeah, some really dark moments in this movie I'm really surprised about. Yeah, there was quite a bit of a backstory to the witches, a, a little bit extra I felt as well, which, mm. which I found you know, was quite interesting. Just a little added touches like that, it was, yeah. it was quite good. I have to say the CGI is a little bit ropey in some areas um yeah the the snake one was a bit sort of fake uh but there were some sort of cartoony elements which did help i think yeah i don't think it was too bad i think it was a bit hit and miss in places but i don't think i questioned it too much no no um it's quite funny as well that um octavia spencer obviously because they're having to talk to things that mm. aren't there she actually practice in a hotel room quite a few times just learning her lines and just talking to random things that weren't there just so she could get a feel of how it would be and make yeah. it look more natural which i thought was quite interesting but yeah there was quite a lot of cgi in there mm. so my overall rating of this film is i'm going to give it a six out of ten i had a really good time with it i thought the performances was you know really good i was thoroughly entertained I think most kids are going to enjoy it and I think families are going to enjoy it. I just think it's going to be, like you said, quite scary for some kids. I'm going to give it six and a half out of ten. I was thoroughly entertained. Um, I think it's a bit more faithful to the book, to be fair. And again, yeah, the dark moments really hit out for me, really strike out for me. Uh, so, yeah, I had a really, really good time with this movie. Probably one of the better remakes of uh, films uh, in recent years as well. Yeah. In terms of pricing for this movie, I think I'm going to have to let you guys decide on this one because for me and Faye, it probably would have been cheaper for us to have gone to the cinema to watch this movie. But for, let's say, a family of four, I think it would have been a fair price. So I really would love to know your comments and thoughts on terms of pricing for video streaming services. Thanks very much for watching as always, guys. We'd love to know what your thoughts are on this movie, which is now available in HBO Max in the US and other streaming services in the UK, such as Sky Cinema and Amazon Prime. Thanks very much again, guys. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more movie reviews. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Bye.